Extreme weather patterns caused by long-term climate change make floods more likely. The Ecuadorian government has a relief plan in place for the flood hit Esmeraldas. Nearly 700 people were evacuated and numerous houses damaged after rains led to at least six rivers overflowing. Boats and helicopters are rescuing people amid the flood fury. There are reports of a landslide, but no fatalities or injuries have been reported so far. Authorities have not released figures on damage to homes and property. After scouting over the area in a military helicopter, the Ecuadorian president said that at least 21 schools were being assessed. He also said that those affected would receive financial aid. We are already doing the evaluation of the damages in the schools, which is approximately 21. Along with the housing ministry, we'll evaluate the damaged houses. And along with the Ministry of Social Inclusion, we are already activating the disaster bond for $260 per family. Extreme floods can be triggered by intense precipitation, longer duration, close precipitation of... Uh, a close repetition of precipitations or a combination of these. Ecuador faces a variety of climate change risks associated with changes in temperature and precipitation, as well as possible alterations to ocean currents. Given its geographical location and rugged topography, Ecuador is highly vulnerable to the impact of climate change.